Here's a Hitachi U2000 spectrophotometer. This particular method is calibrated and baseline for materials analysis, that is, solid materials. And what I want to do is do the analysis on various plastics. So, this is absorption mode, and we have a range of point negative 0 0.025 to positive 3 in absorption units. The particular method is set to scan from 1100 nanometers down to 190 nanometers. It will change from visible light to ultraviolet at 325 nanometers, and it's scanning at 2400 nanometers a second. We're going to start this right now. I have a piece of plexiglass in the sample chamber, which still has the protective coating on it. A five second delay prior to scan. And I have noted a little bit of a blurb about 350 nanometers. I believe that one of the filters has a fingerprint on it. And there's the ultraviolet lamp. Okay. Now I'm going to remove the sample. See the protective coating is still on it. I will remove the protective coating. Scan again. And looking for if there's any noticeable difference in the wavelength resolutions. Okay, now we don't have coding anymore. And we're going to run the same method again. And we'll draw right over top of this graph so that we can see an apples to apples comparison. And we see already that the, uh, the absorption has been diminished greatly. I imagine that the absorption will still be present in the ultraviolet region. Okay. And that is why I wanted this spectrometer, photo spectrometer, spectrophotometer, whatever they call it. I guess it's the spectrophotometer. That's exactly why I wanted this for materials analysis.